Hi guys, Glader here. So today I have another Spyro video, and if you haven't watched the previous videos, I've got a link in the description now to a playlist. You can watch them from there. This is like a whole series thing. But right now, um, I've got some post running, I believe, yes. So it's going to look a little weird, but I just wanted to show you, get you guys up to date on what's been missed. So, I spent a little bit of time working a bit on the shaders, and a bit of it was on some portals, and that ended up being a dead end. I tried to simplify it quite a bit and reduce the draw calls, but that went nowhere, which kind of sucked. But I, I wrote some shader variants so that you can, like, set up the uh, animations and the speed and stuff. It's just a 10. Yeah, so. You can see, um, and so this is all still the same material as everything else. But the variants basically enable this feature. If we go into the code, you can see that there's some. There's an if def here. You know, and then there's a toggle up here and, and there's another new feature as well in, for the shader and that is emission masks so the portals just the portals have a unique material compared to everything else uh, and that is only because you want you want emission on these portals up here because well, I personally think it looks cool, but yeah, it has to be a separate material because if you didn't, then oops, these would all have these would all glow as you can see and that just doesn't look very good so yeah, there's uh, water reflections which was done with uh, alpha channel is roughness which I think is pretty neat. Forgot to show you guys the other video, but also you've got reflections in the ocean. Kind of doesn't, kind of looks like ice, but you know, I kind of like it. It looks nice to me. And so yeah, we've got some portals are still not, still not exact. I tried to spend some time figuring out how to do it. It really, there seems to be some sort of projection that isn't. It isn't like a perspective camera. It might be orthographic. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but that's what they do in that's what Insomniac did in Spyro. I just can't figure out how to replicate that, but it's close-ish. We got multiple portals over here, um, and they look okay. Yeah, so I'm satisfied with it. That's essentially what we've got. For right now. Um, also a couple other maps as well and you know the tools as well if you aren't familiar there's tools I've written they're all open source links in the description for that as well. Go grab them and basically do all this stuff. Oh this one over here also has it. You know nothing special but there's a lot of levels where a mission can play a small role in bringing things a bit more lively, especially with paired with bloom and stuff like that, or even potentially light baking. Um, that's where things like this little shadow come from. That kind of works well with the vertex lighting. If I'm being honest, it does actually look nice. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, just a few shader variants. Get closer to publishing the second version of a few of these shaders once they're cleaned up and I've got everything. Uh, a bit more efficient with some variants and stuff that it'll be ready. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. I'll try to have a new video out tomorrow. I don't really know what I'm going to work on, but yeah, maybe maybe the text on the portals that's something I've wanted to do. So maybe that. Alright, well thanks for watching guys.